Good evening. We begin the news at six tonight with the heroic actions of a man by the name of Darren Wall. He's a bass player for a heavy metal band out of Seattle that was performing over the weekend at the Shredder, a popular music venue south of downtown Boise. Wall took a bullet to the leg while stopping a man who had a gun. A suspect, 26 year old Ethan Bird, faces multiple charges, including aggravated battery and use of a deadly weapon. Our Andrew Bartline is following the story for us all day long. And Andrew, you spoke with Wall about his decision to confront the shooter. Quick actions. How is he doing after all this? Yeah, Wall is now back home safely in Seattle, recovering from that gunshot to his leg. He says he's in a lot of pain. He can't walk, but nobody is dead. And to him, that is worth it. I don't know if anyone else saw it, but I saw him do this into the crowd, like make a finger gun motion. At that point, 26 year old Ethan Bird had Darren Wall's attention. I got a weird feeling right away because, you know, sometimes you confront really wasted people, really drunk, they're really, you know, angry and they're shouting and they're belligerent. This guy was much more cold, I would say. The bands playing at the Shredder were packing up in the early hours of Sunday morning. Wall says Bird didn't attend the show, but arrived after and quickly got in a disagreement with a member from one of the other bands. He says Bird was blocked from getting into the Shredder, where it quickly started to become physical. It resulted in some pushing and shoving, and the, the shooter got pushed backwards, at which point I saw him reach behind his back and grab the gun. And um, that's when I moved in. No other options went through my head. Wall says he kicked the shooter on the inside of his leg. The two began to grab each other. Well, the gun, I believe, was in his pocket of his track, his, his pants, and he shot me through his pants and he got me in the upper thigh. Wall says he fell to the ground and Bird ran away. The owner of the shredder, Justin Cantrell, says police were on scene quickly, and according to the Boise police, officers arrested Bird shortly after. I did get lucky as the location of the shot, and it's, you know, it's, it's in a place that's not damaging anything that's going to be permanent, we don't think. So while this wasn't how Darren envisioned the day would end. The show up until, you know, everything went down was just an incredibly good time, full of joy, full of love. It was, it was a big party and it was awesome. He's just happy no one else got hurt. Hug your family members, hug your friends. You know, tomorrow's never guaranteed, so just be, be good to each other. Now, Darren says this is not related to Boise's music scene, the shredder, or an accurate representation of Boise. Darren says he's visited Boise multiple times and he plans to come back. And yes, his band Greyhawk does plan to play at the shredder again. Just a weird case of wrong place, wrong time. And even worse, it was actually his 41st birthday too, wow. Mark. Hero, it's an appropriate word. And when his band does come to town, I sure hope somebody hands him a medal. He deserves <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's right. All right, Andrew, thanks.